guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the channel where you learn to love learn. Please subscribe to this channel and like this video. Okay, so this is a lesson about bridging. Now, bridging in maths, little bridge, makes it easier to do some calculations. So, the first calculation we're going to do, let's say you had 8 add 5, okay? So, to do this calculation, this first number sentence is quite tricky, or it can be quite tricky, because you're going across the tens. So, first job is we're going to partition this 5 into two different numbers, okay, to make it easier to work with. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a number line. So I start on 8, and I'm going to get to 10. So the idea of bridging is to make 10s, okay? So what do I add to 8 to get to my 10? Yeah, that's right, I add 2, okay? So my first calculation, I've done 8 add 2. So this first number that I've partitioned 5 from is 2. So I've done 8 add 2, is 10, so I've made 10. Then, what's my other number that I'm going to partition? So I've partitioned 5 into 2, and what other number? 2 add something is 5. What's my other number? 3. Well done. So now I can add the remainder of 3 onto my number line. So now I'm going to do 10 add 3. So what's 10 add 3? Yeah, 13. So overall then, I've done 8 add 5, which is 13. So what I did, I partitioned 5 into two different numbers. And then I added my 2 first to get to my 10. And then I added the rest. So overall, I added 5 but I just did it in two steps to make it easier to work with. So when we get to bigger numbers, it will also be easier to work with. So let's do another one then. Okay, this time let's do nine add four. So if you like, pause the video and have a go, just like we did the other question and see what you get. So, exactly the same, I'm going to partition this 4 into two different numbers. Now, I'm not sure what two different numbers yet, so let's have a go. Draw my number line. I start on 9. And what do I need to get to? That's right, I need to get to 10. So, so far I've done 9 add something equals 10. So, what is that something? 9 add 1, that's right, 9 add 1. So I'm going to write 9 add 1 equals 10. I've made 10. So my first number is going to be 1. What's my other number going to be? So it's partitioned for 1 add something is 4. What's my other number? 3, that, that's right, so I've got 3. So now, I'm on 10, so I've got 10, add what? 3. So I'm going to add 3. So what is 10 add 3? Yep, it's 13. So that's your answer, 13. Let's do another one. So lots and lots of practicing. Let's do... 6 add 5 equals something. So again, pause the video and have a go, and then we'll go through it. Okay, so again, I'm going to partition 5 into two different numbers so it's easier to work with. Draw my number line. What do I start on? Good, I start on 6. Now I need to get to 10. Remember, I'm always trying to make 10. So what do I add? If you know your number bonds to 10, that should be really, really good. What do I add to 10 
What do I add to 6 to get to 10? Good, I add 4. So my first number calculation is 6, add 4, and I land on 10. So I've made 10. So this is the first number that I partition. What is my other number that I need to make 5? 4 add something is 5. What's that other number? Brilliant, it's 1. So now I'm on 10. Add 1 equals what? Good, 11. So now I've got 11. Super. Let's do one more. So hopefully you're getting the hang of this now. 7 add 6 equals something. So again, pause the video, have a go, draw out your number line, think about what do you start on and what are you going to partition this 6 into. Okay, let's have a go. So I'm going to partition this 6 into two different numbers. First job, draw out my number line. I start on 7. What do I need to get to? I need to make 10. So now I do 7 add something equals 10. What do I add to 7 to make 10? Brilliant, I add 3. So I add 3 to make my 10. So this number here, I partitioned 6 into 3. And what's my other number? 3 add something equals 6. Good, 3. So now I start on 10. Add 3. What will that be? <laughs> Again, 13. Super. So hopefully you got that right.